What's up YouTube? Jack Armstrong, Jack Daddy, coming at you again with another one. Today I'm going to show you how you can build this awesome shooting bench uh, out of an old wire spool. So stay tuned, step by step video right here, you can make your own. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of how I'm gonna get this thing started. Uh, first of all, this is giant and it wasn't easy to get to right here. Uh, it's probably not gonna be super easy to get around that pole. So I'm gonna put it on this pole right there. And if you look far enough down there, uh, you can see my berms. I've got one at 50, one at 100. And then I think I'm gonna make another one at like 200 yards back in there. But uh, I'm gonna put this spool around that pole and then screw it onto that pole uh, that'll just make it that much more sturdy to shoot off of and then it's also going to be nice uh, to be able to have it back here behind the barn because i've got my deer skinner and like coon skinner and whatever all set up right here so uh, it'll be like an extra shell for a work table when i'm doing that i mean i'm gonna keep it clean so you know it's not gonna be like bunch of fur and junk all over it so that when I get ready to shoot I'm gonna clean it off but uh, it'll just be nice to be able to put like a skin and knife down or something right there without having to build more shelves so it's gonna do double duty now these things are not made out of treated wood I don't think pretty certain they're not so uh, you know I guess you could paint the bottom with some type of coating but it's gonna be sitting on the ground and even though it's covered on my application it's still gonna be I mean the ground the dirt is kind of moist and it'll rot it and stuff so uh, I'm just gonna try to prolong that and uh, I'm gonna take my torch and burn this thing uh, a little bit so maybe just put like a layer of burn on the bottom and then when I flip it over that'll maybe do some type of uh, treatment so it won't rot as quick and uh, hopefully that'll be the deal. So let's get this thing burnt, measured, notched out, and flipped back over, and then we'll start working on cutting the bench out of the top. So here we go, let's burn it. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, measure out for my post because I want this thing to go all the way up and kind of hug the post. And uh, like I said, that's gonna make it a little more sturdy. Uh, but you don't have to do this. Like if you're just gonna have this out in the middle of a field, you don't have a post to work around, you don't need to do this step. This is just specific to my deal. Uh, but I'm gonna measure it down, make me a mark, cut it out, do the same thing on the bottom, slide it right up to it. We got this thing moved after we got it cut and that was a process and it wore me out but I'm ready to finish this thing so uh, we are going to draw a line I've already got one drawn I don't know if you guys can tell we're gonna draw a line right here and that's gonna be our cutout where we're gonna stand or sit uh, to be able to you know rest our gun up there have the butt stock over here whatever it's gonna be nice we're gonna be able to be outside the pole shooting at our berm but uh, we're gonna use this to do the seat. Now mine is just one-sided, but you could make it two-sided. You don't have to put the cutout on just one side, you could do it on two. I like having this space on the other side to be able to put like other guns that I'm not shooting or bullets or be able to write on a notepad, my data, something like that. Uh, it's just nice to have a big space. Now that that's cut out, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, the piece that you cut out, like if you'll make it the same radius as that inner spool, then when we go to use it for our bench seat, this radius right here will match up perfect 
with the bottom of that spool and we'll be able just to put some screws through here and that'll hold it onto our spool and then we'll have to put like i'm going to use this leftover piece of six by six right here and uh, it's 23 inches long is how, how long i made mine uh, and that'll put the stool just right for you to sit down and be you know have a good cheek weld on the back of your stock whatever so we're going to take this piece right here that we cut out and this other end instead of having it just jut out like that we're going to finish cutting a radius like this so it'll be nice and smooth when we get through with that all right now i got some uh pieces of wood these are treated but uh they're just two by four and uh they're probably like five and a half six inches long or something and uh what we do we made us a mark where our bench is going to be but we need to make sure that we have something to support it so we're going to screw these in right here just like that three of them and then that bench will sit on top of those and we'll screw it into these and then the other side of the bench will sit on top of this and we'll screw it in to this which will be screwed in to the bottom of that so the bench will be good and sturdy from all different ways Last step, we're gonna run this sander over all the edges. Just make sure it's nice and smooth so you you know your shirt don't hang up on it or something like that. But and then we're gonna let Ram get up there with a the torch and burn the top of it a little bit. Uh, just maybe for some type of treatment again. And then we'll put a little rubber mat over there to level the front off or just have a nice solid flat surface and it'll be ready to go. Alright, now let me show you some footage of the finished product. <laughs> 